Hello, fifth graders. Welcome back. This is chapter two, lesson two of the Ecosystem Restoration Unit. There are three activities in this lesson, but we will be skipping activity two. So let's go ahead and get started with activity one. During this lesson, we are going to focus on this question. Where do food molecules for plants come from? I want you to take a moment and think about this question in your head. Where do food molecules for plants come from? So think about what we learned from investigating with the simulation in our last lesson. What are some ideas you now have about where food molecules for plants come from? To answer this question, you can write the answer in your chapter two, lesson two activity packet in a notebook. You can talk about the answer with someone near you or you can think about your answer in your head. Pause the video and take a moment to answer this question. You will read this book to find out more about how plants get food molecules. The book we will be reading is Energy Makes It All Go. As you read, think about the question we're investigating about food molecules. What do food molecules have to do with energy? So just keep this question in mind while we read the book. Before reading Energy Makes It All Go, I want you to complete the Getting Ready to Read activity. This can be found on page 36 of your Ecosystem Restoration Workbook or on page 2 of your Chapter 2, Lesson 2 activity packet. So go ahead, pause the video, take a moment, and answer these questions. Now, looking at the table of contents and the pages of this book, what do you notice about how this book is organized? To answer the question, you can write the answer in your chapter two, lesson two activity packet in a notebook. You can talk about the answer with someone near you, or you can think about your answer in your head. Pause the video, take a moment and answer question three. Now that you've had a moment to answer the question, let's look a little bit closer at the table of contents. So we start, our first category is energy for living. Then we have food for energy. Even plants need food. Plants make food for energy. Herbivores eat plants for energy. Carnivores eat animals for energy. Omnivores eat animals and plants for energy. Decomposers use dead things as food for energy. How would you group them? Energy from sunlight and finally the glossary. So if you need to, pause the video, take a moment, and update your question three. Remember, one way to understand what you're reading is to synthesize or connect together ideas in order to come to a new understanding. As you read, stop every few pages and think about what you just read. As you read, you are going to record notes about important information along with the page number where you found that information. You are going to use page 37 of your Ecosystem Restoration Workbook, or you are going to use page four of your Chapter 2, Lesson 2 Activity Packet. To view the reading of this book, it, you're going to have to look at a separate video. So now that you have finished the reading of the book, I want you to go back to page four and reread this page. Think about where plants get their food molecules. I am going to reread this page to refresh our memories. So it says, energy for living. Everywhere on earth, in the air, on the land, and in the water, there are living things or organisms. The organisms on earth are constantly growing, moving and doing all the things they need to do to survive. Zebras gallop, flowers bloom, whales swim, ants crawl, and birds fly. To do anything, all organisms need energy. It takes a lot of energy to power every living thing on Earth all the time. Where does all this energy come from? Now let's look back at this section on page seven, or go back to the book video and pause the video on page seven. I am going to reread it to refresh our memory. Even plants need food. 
It may seem strange to think of grass and other plants needing food. After all, plants can't eat. You may have heard of something called plant food, a kind of fertilizer that people add to the soil in their gardens to help plants grow. Fertilizer isn't food, however. You can't actually feed a plant. Fertilizers are really just nutrients that help plants grow better, like vitamins for plants. A plant can't get energy from nutrients just as you couldn't get energy by eating only a vitamin pill. If plants don't eat, how do they get their food? So now that we reread these pages, I want you to answer this question. Do you see any ideas about plants and food that would help you learn where food molecules for plants come from? To answer this question, you can write the answer in Chapter 2, Lesson 2 Activity Packet, a notebook. You can talk about the answer with someone near you, or you can think about the answer in your head. Don't forget to use page 4 of the book and page 7 of the book to help you answer this question. Pause the video now to answer this question. Okay. Now, on page 37, if you have not already, record any notes about the information on page 7 from the book. Remember to record the page number that you're getting your information on. One important vocabulary word from this activity is energy. Energy is the ability to make things move or change. That is all I have for activity one. Check the next video for activity three.